your summer holiday this year was surely the most memorable um, time you've ever had. Where were you and what exactly happened? I was in Georgia. We fly there every second year. My mother and I were in Sweaty, a little village which is about an hour's drive from Tbilisi. There we have a little holiday house. In Tbilisi the nature is very beautiful. There are uh, many mountains, forests and wild animals. On the 31st of August, a few days before our departure to Prague, we drove, that is my mother, her friend Irina and I, um, from Tbilisi to Tbilisi. Our neighbor in Tsweri, the well-known Georgian actor Givi Berikashvili, took us with him in his car. When you drive out of Tsweri, you have to drive very slowly because on the way there are many mountains. The roads are very bumpy and steep curves and have ste with steep curves. Um, one often doesn't see what's around the corner, so you have to signal so that you warn the cars um, who are coming, who might be coming from the opposite direction. So I was sitting in the front on the passenger seat next to Kiwi and at the back my mother and her friend Irina sat. As we were making a turn, all of a sudden a man jumped from the left uh, onto the street directly in front of our car. He wore a white hat and his face was cover covered with a, a cowboy mask. He held a machine gun. From the right, from behind the trees, three other men in black murder masks jumped out. Through cutout holes um, in the masks you could only see the eyes and the lips of the burglars. All of the other three carried weapons. They had big machine guns, which they aimed at us. How did you feel at that moment? You must have been shocked. Well, in the beginning, it seemed as though I was in a movie. A couple of seconds later, I understood what had happened was real. I couldn't say anything. I, I neither screamed nor cried. I was pale and shivering. The burglars took Givi out of the car and the man with the white mask jumped onto the driver's seat and drove us into the forest where we held after 20 or 30 meters. Irina started to cry. We stayed in the car. When one of the men with the weapon saw me shivering, um, he took his sporty Adidas coat off and put it on me. What did he say while he was doing that? He said, don't be afraid. But I was afraid, that was the problem. Then they made fire and I warmed myself on it. After about 15 minutes, I heard the sound of a car passing by. We heard three shots. And two minutes later, another car uh, drove from the street down to us. On this car, both of the side windows were smashed and you could see a big shot hole in the left front of the, um, uh, in the left front door of it. The burglars took the driver, an older man, out of the car. He was bleeding everywhere, from his hands and feet. It was disgusting. The kidnappers ripped a few pillows and towels and some fabric and wound it around the wounds of the injured man. They hung red and dripped. Why did they shoot at that man? Because he didn't stop, he tried to flee. But they could have hit him in the head. Yes, it almost cost him his life. And if he had died, we would all have been killed, too. At the second they shot at him, he reflexively put his hand up. A bullet got stuck in his hand. Um, he would have screamed if he had seen his leg, too. He was actually very brave, because he didn't even make a sound. My mother ripped more and more uh, pillows apart and wound the linen around his wounds. 
through this, my mother had very bloody hands. How many cars did they stop overall? They did what they were told to do. There were about 10 cars overall, and each of these cars sat three or four people, sometimes five. And it was a difficult task for the four kidnappers to guard them all. Um, one of those kidnappers kept taking cookies out of one of the cars. Um, they also took all our mobiles away. So that nobody could contact the police. Yes, they took all the SIM cards out of the phones, uh, broke them and threw them away. When they went through the bag of my mom and they found her jewelry box, uh, my mom said the only thing of any value in there is a golden ring with a pearl. They took it. There were other valuable things in there which the man didn't notice. What did your mother say to the man who took her ring? She said, I give you this ring as a present for your wife so that you can give her something that isn't stolen. One of the burglars kept joking all the time. Everybody laughed. I didn't laugh at that moment. I would have been so happy to kick their asses. Do the kidnappers have any easily recognizable voices or faces? Yes, the guy who kept joking all the time had very light eyebrows. He was an albino. One of the guys had a strange laugh and very big arms. The funny one asked me once, um, Hey, you aren't afraid, are you? I said, no. He asked me, How's it going at school? I said, normally. He asked, do you have any girlfriends? I replied, no. He said, why not? If, if I were still at school and someone had asked me that question, I would, have, I would have replied, seven. He laughed. I forced a laugh out of myself, although I didn't feel like laughing. He went away. I took a few cookies out of the car and ate them. Then I went to the forest. But weren't you guys tied up? Tied up? Yes, towards the end. Look, they told us that they knew of a car um, whose passengers carried $12,000 and a diamond from Tsweri to Tbilisi. They waited very long for this car. We were held captive for 10 hours and in the end, when we had lost all the hope, we saw a car in the distance. At that time, we had all been tied up. My mother, Irina and I uh, were allowed to stay in the car uh, where it was warmer than in the forest outside. With this, the burglars who had seen and liked the films of Givi Berikashvili wanted to show respect. Um, they didn't take money from him and um, even apologized to him. You were speaking of a car. They were about to disappear again when they saw a car which stood at the edge of the street. A man and a woman had come out of the car and were gathering apples from the trees. As we later found, these were the people the burglars had been waiting for. Now they fell into their hands by themselves. The thieves cut all the seats of the car. They found a diamond and $12,000 and were extremely happy about it. At the end, they emptied all the purses. They selected the best car out of the ten stopped cars, a red jeep, and they fled.